not a clock. Egyptians free time keeping from the sun. For millennia, humankind had kept track of the progress of time by observing natural bodies, most notably the sun and the stars. In cloudy periods, however, these cannot be seen. The water clock or clepsydra in Greek is a timekeeper that works by measuring a regulated uniform flow of water out of or into a vessel. With sufficient water and a large enough vessel, this timekeeper can run for a day or two without needing to be refilled or emptied. Imagine a cylindrical water container with a hole in the bottom. The rate at which water drips out of the container is the function of the pressure exerted by the water that it contains. So, the more water in the vessel, the faster is the flow rate. When the container is full, the water level goes down quickly, but the flow is slower when it is nearly empty. Around 1500 BCE, the Egyptians realized that if the sides of the bucket tapered parabolically, the water level would go down at a uniform rate and this would make a reasonable basis for a clock. Others introduced multiple cistern systems that ensured that the head of water remained constant. The dripping of the clepsydra in ancient times has found an echo in the ticking of a modern clock. Later on, the Romans and Chinese constructed complicated float systems that followed the changing water level and moved on a hard hand on a circular dial or rang bells at specific times. Simple forms of the clepsydra were also used to measure specific time intervals. For the regulation of religious services and political debates, in the way that sunglasses are now used as egg timers. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe us.